wrote this script, it seems like, a hundred years ago. <laughs> and I was proud of it, but they were just words on the page until these six people made every person in this read come alive. description of me. He said the first time didn't he like you. Vanilla chop and tequila bob. <laughs> I'm in good company. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing at What are you doing here? Can I come in? No. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, stop moving. Toronto, shut up. Hey, Mike, we're out here, and you're here. Okay, bro, there's two left. <laughs> <laughs> it means you're going to try it again. <laughs> Chuckle butt. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody hit me! How big was he? <laughs> okay. Are my balls okay? <laughs> was he good? How long did it last? <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Oh, stop. <laughs> well, wait a second. I'm just gonna say Rick. Me. Not Rick. six years mm -hmm. I mean do you find that sort of your approaches to the material like start to mirror one another's or are those differences still there I think they're, they're totally we're all totally different yeah. machines yeah yeah like Rick Hoffman God bless him he's spinning off this earth and <laughs> we all in, in every good way like he comes into it and he is just like on fire with material or whatever like he doesn't there's no filter so it's like he comes in and it's just a whirlwind and it happens and it's like literally one of the most captivating things to watch um, because it's just so yeah, and it's hard to describe but he's an amazing actor and it's amazing to watch but, watch. but then Sarah Rafferty comes in and she's got a ton of theater training and it is like beat it out and she's really fascinating to direct too because she's done so much work at home um you know whereas rick i think he's read it and he's just like this is it this is what we're doing and it's going like sarah is like this is it and it's this beat and then this beat <laughs> and then i'll come in and be like could you just say that line differently and she'll be like wait what do you mean and then she's got to take it 
But then she goes and she thinks about it and you see, she goes, okay, let me try it. And then she comes in and it's brilliant. And, and then Gabriel's like, huh, what is this? <laughs> All right, uh, sure, okay, I guess. And then he'll like say it five times and it's brilliant, you know, but he just has to say it five times and then it's brilliant. Like everybody has a completely different <laughs> process and uh, no one's mimics, none of our processes mimic anybody, but we have learned how to like shepherd their process. It's like, okay, Rick needs to bounce around the room six times and then he'll land and we'll do the thing. <laughs> or like directing Rick is the greatest. Cause like you'll go in and be like, Rick, I was wondering if you could um, just on this line, could you come back here? Nope, can't do it. I was like, I'll tell you why I can't do it. I can't do it because I can't do it. And I'll tell you why I've just, I just said I wasn't going to do it. And that's why I'm going to do it here. And you'll be like, okay. Uh. <laughs> and, and the first time I directed, I, I would be like, Rick, please just do this for me. And you beg him and you'd be like, and there'd be a lot of fight. And then finally this time I last directed him, I was like, I just learned to be like, okay. Okay, you don't want to do it? That's great. And I walk away. And as soon as you walk away, it goes, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'll do it. Oh, no, no, no. Let me, oh, that's what you meant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course I'll do it. <laughs> I think we, when we received the scripts, we all were like, what? Oh, what? Right, oh, like, how's that? Like, do you? Oh, what? How, is, how, did, how do they? Now, I do not do? think that that was going <laughs> to. Okay. Right. Wow. People are going to freak out. Oh, the Twitter feed. I know. Oh, oh it's going to be really <laughs> Like directing them is even better because now you find all the like you just learned to like how do how do I how do I sell this to Gabriel? <laughs> how do I sell this to Sarah? Um, and then as soon as they get on board, they're like the greatest group of people ever. I mean, they're just they're so on point, they're so prepared, and, uh, and we have a blast together still after all this time. The idea of maybe Donna and Rachel have to go to Paris to find a great dress for Rachel's wedding. Come on, Jean. <laughs> There's a lot of people who ship Harvey and Donna. Where do you stand on their relationship? Is it more than just friends? Well, that's so interesting you should ask. Let's make love. <laughs> Time. As a fan, I would love to see Donna and Harvey together. <laughs> Glad I'm not the only we one. Have. We have never discussed that. I know. And... Dogs flew out. <laughs> I can fire dance. Does this <laughs> with fire. Keep it on the beat. We're going to do it. Oh, we can tease. <laughs> I was working till 4.30 in the morning on a Friday night and my husband was traveling for business and on Saturday morning at 7.30, right about 20 minutes after the kids woke up, my front doorbell rings and it's Megan with scones and Starbucks and we had a little, we turned on cartoons and the girls were like, what is this amazing thing <laughs> called a scone? We've become so close and we're such family um, and we care a lot about each other and we still get along, which I think is maybe rare in this business. So there's that. What's one thing you couldn't live without? Rick Hoffman. What's one thing you really could live without? Rick Hoffman. <laughs>
Hey, wait, what? Um, what? Yeah, sitting here in the auditorium. I'm very embarrassed because I don't have anything to say, son. You all know that I don't know how to rap. But you know what? Guess what? I don't really give a crap yet. Although, however, however, I think we're going to be on stage forever. Because this is taking too long. We know it's going to go on. Excellent.